Hey everybody, my name is Daryl Bear. Welcome back to Maya Monday. So today I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about render layers. I've had a couple people ask about render layers in 2016. They're different than they were in previous releases of Maya, and I had the old render layers demo up, and some people have watched it, and they're now in 2016, and they're trying to figure out, well, what happened to my render layers? How do I get them back? So that's what I'm going to talk about today, is where the old ones went, how you can get them back, as well as um, sort of the more desirable workflow, which would be using the new Mila material, and it's built-in pass system. So the Mila material, if you're using Mental Ray, I would say is probably the go-to material now um, moving forward in Maya 2016 because it's just faster. It does things in a more modern way. It has light path expressions, so it, it makes doing render layers extremely simple. And those are the default layers that you see inside of Maya now. So what I have in my scene is a very simple setup. I've got two materials. Um, one of them's just got a specular reflection, so there's no gloss in that. It's just a simple reflection on the red object. And then I have another material set up with a, with a glossy reflection layered on top of the diffuse. So it's pretty straightforward there. And if we render these guys out, what we're going to see is obviously Maya's going to go through and I've got a sun sky system inside of here. So you can see the kind of glossy reflections there. They're kind of, kind of pixely right now. But once that final gather pass kind of finishes up there, you'll see that, you know, we've got our two are two types of uh, materials inside of the scene. So what we want to do is we want to turn on some passes for this. And I'm just going to set my exposure down to something like minus one here. And the passes are, are really simple to turn on. Now you just go to the render layers, or in this render settings, you go to scene. And in scene, you can see we now have a passes tab. And this is going to allow you to start turning on the different passes. And you can see that it's they're, they're kind of named, something that's um, obviously pretty straightforward, logical. So we're going to get all the indirect um, and the direct diffuse materials as well as the specular reflections and glossy reflections. And I'll also add on to this, I'm not doing any scattering, so I don't need to turn any of those passes on. But I'm also going to turn on something like a depth pass, and I'm going to tell it to automatically create map passes. So this is going to go through and automatically generate a an alpha channel for each object, essentially, for each material that's been assigned to that. And we've got two of them in our scene there. So that's pretty straightforward. And as I mentioned before, these are these are based on, on light paths, right? Path expression. So if we bring up the attribute editor for this and you click on this guy, you'll see that you know it's going to give you essentially what's being used to generate that that pass. So that the recompositing of these back together is, is very simple. It's just you know just add these guys back together and your comping program. There are going to be rendered out as half float images, so there's going to be full dynamic range inside of there, and you're going to get something that gives you a lot of flexibility in post. Very similar to what we saw in that original Maya render layers and render pass demo. It's just these guys, they just kind of work a little bit more solidly or more predictably. So we'll go ahead and we'll re-render this guy out real quickly. And it'll take just a second to, uh, to kind of crank through these guys. So you can see that it's not really adding any time to our, to our render to get through uh, extracting these passes. They're extracted at render time. And with that done, we can start to load up some of these passes in our viewer. So if we just go ahead and say file load pass, we'll load this direct diffuse in here. Kind of expand this guy out a little bit here. We'll put that gamma up to 2.2 and drop that exposure down to minus one. So now you can see as we start to jump through these guys, there's our, our Z dot information. You can see the S moving there. So that's telling me that I do have some range there. If I crank this way down to like minus 10, probably start to see a little bit of that grayscale on there, but we'll get that back to minus one so that the other stuff looks a little bit better when we jump through these passes. All right, so now if we just jump through some of these other ones, obviously direct diffuse. Here's our direct specular, um, and you can see that obviously there's no bounce light hitting the bottom of that guy, so that's going to be all picked up in the indirect diffuse, and then obviously the indirect specular glossy reflection is also going to pick up in the area where that, that bounce light would be hitting. So it's really pretty straightforward. Like I said, it just kind of extracts those guys out. And then obviously these are the two mats that were made from those two Mila materials. So that's sort of the new way of, of doing the pass system. Pretty easy to straightforward to set up. You just go to your scenes directory, go to passes, click on the different passes that you're going to want to recombine back to get back to that beauty. Now let's say you wanted to get back to the original Maya way of doing passes. Well, if you go to your render layers here, you'll see that that pass contribution map setup stuff is actually still here. The problem is that we don't have any passes showing the legacy workflow in our render settings. So to get that, what you have to do is go into the system preferences, go to the rendering section in the system preferences, we'll just kind of pull this over here and say, use 
uh, Maya Legacy. So show Maya Legacy passes. So if we turn that on, you can see that this kind of got a little bit bigger. So if we expand this back out, that's where your um, old pass setup system that I talked about a bit in that other demo, actually not a good bit in that other demo, um, is now where that stuff hides in Maya 2016. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. That's the, the, uh, the new workflow. And if you want to still use the old legacy pass system in Maya 2016, how you would get to it. So um, thanks for taking the time to check out Maya Mondays. Please click the subscribe button. Cheers, everyone.